Are you ready to uncover the shocking and disturbing history of Leopold II, the King of the Belgians? During his reign, Leopold II oversaw the deaths of millions of people and the pillaging of their natural resources in the Congo, a vast territory in Central Africa. In this video, we will explore the unspeakable things that Leopold II did and how his actions had a devastating impact on the Congolese people. So buckle up, because this is a story you won't forget. Leopold II was born in Brussels, Belgium in 1835 and was the second son of Leopold I, the first king of the Belgians. He became king in 1865 following the death of his father and ruled until his own death in 1909. During his reign, Leopold II was known for his ambitious expansionist policies and his desire to turn Belgium into a colonial power. He saw the Congo, a vast territory in Central Africa that was home to millions of people, as a potential source of wealth and resources for Belgium. Leopold II was driven by a desire for power and wealth, and he saw the annexation and exploitation of the Congo as a way to achieve these goals. He formed the International African Society, a group of European investors and politicians who were interested in exploring and exploiting the resources of the Congo. Leopold II used this group to raise money and support his plans to annex the Congo. In the 1870s, Leopold II began to take steps to annex the Congo and make it a personal possession. He signed a series of treaties with local African leaders, securing their loyalty and cooperation in exchange for promises of support and protection. These treaties were later revealed to be fraudulent, as Leopold II had no intention of fulfilling his promises. Once Leopold II had successfully annexed the Congo and established control over the territory, he set about exploiting its resources and its people. He established a system of forced labor under which Congolese people were required to work on plantations and mines owned by the Belgium state or by European companies. Conditions on these plantations and mines were brutal, with workers subjected to long hours, low pay, and harsh treatment. Many workers were also subjected to physical abuse and torture, and thousands died as a result of these grueling conditions. Leopold II also oversaw the exploitation of the Congo's natural resources, including rubber, ivory, and minerals. The extraction of these resources were often carried out using forced labor, and the profits from their sale went directly to the Belgian state or to European companies. The Congolese people had no choice but to comply with these demands as refusal meant punishment or even death. They were effectively slaves, forced to work for little or no pay under the most brutal of conditions. The impact of Leopold II's rule on the Congolese people was devastating. They were subjected to constant abuse and exploitation, and many of them died as a result. The trauma and suffering that they experienced under Leopold II's rule left a lasting legacy that still affects the country today. The Congolese people were treated as nothing more than a means to an end, with no values placed on their lives or their well-being. The atrocities committed by Leopold II and his regime in the Congo had a devastating impact on the Congolese people. It is estimated that millions of Congolese people died as a result of the forced labor, abuse, and exploitation that they were subjected to under Leopold II's rule. Many Congolese people were displaced from their homes and forced to flee to other parts of the country or to neighboring countries in order to escape the violence and persecution that they faced. Families were separated, communities were destroyed, and the Congolese people were left to suffer in poverty and misery. In addition to the physical harm that was inflicted on the Congolese people, Leopold II's rule also had a profound psychological impact. The trauma and the suffering that the Congolese people experienced under his rule left a lasting legacy that still affects the country today. Many Congolese people still carry the scars of this period in their history, and the memory of Leopold II's rule is a source of shame and anger for many. Today, the Congo is still struggling to recover from the atrocities committed under Leopold II's rule. The country is one of the poorest in the world, and many Congolese people continue to live in poverty and insecurity. The legacy of Leopold II's rule is still felt in the Congo today, and it serves as a reminder of the devastating impact that colonialism and exploitation can have on a country and its people. Leopold II's atrocities in the Congo were not a secret, 
and were widely reported in the international press. However, it took many years for the full extent of the horrors that were occurring in the Congo to be revealed. In the late 1890s, a British journalist named Edmund Morrow began to expose the brutal realities of Leopold II's rule in the Congo. Morrow wrote articles and gave lectures about the forced labor, abuse, and exploitation that the Congolese people were subjected to under Leopold II's regime. His reporting sparked international outrage and helped to bring attention to the atrocities that were taking place in the Congo. As more and more evidence of the crimes committed in the Congo came to light, calls for action grew louder. In 1906, the Belgian parliament launched an official investigation into the situation in the Congo, and the findings were shocking. The report revealed the extent of the suffering and abuse that the Congolese people had endured under Leopold II's rule, and the Belgian government was forced to take action. In 1908, Leopold II was finally forced to transfer control of the Congo to the Belgian government, following international pressure and outrage over the atrocities that had been committed in the country. However, the damage had already been done, and the legacy of Leopold II's rule in the Congo continues to be felt today. In 1908, Leopold II was finally forced to transfer control of the Congo to the Belgian government, following international pressure and outrage over the atrocities that had been committed in the country. However, the damage had already been done, and the legacy of Leopold II's rule in the Congo continues to be felt today. The exploitation, abuse, and suffering that the Congolese people experienced under Leopold II's rule left a lasting impact on the country and its people. It is important to remember the history of Leopold II's reign and the atrocities that he committed in the Congo, so that we can learn from the past and work towards a more just and equitable future. The story of Leopold II's rule in the Congo is a cautionary tale of the dangers of unchecked power and the consequences of exploitation and abuse. It is a reminder of the importance of holding those in positions of power accountable for their actions and standing up for the rights and dignity of all people. Thank you for watching this video about the unspeakable things that Leopold II did during his reign. If you found this video informative and eye-opening, please share it with others and help spread awareness about this important and overlooked piece of history.